Good morning, everybody. We're going to test the SCR hockey puck. Now, this heat sink assembly is water cooled. That's what these hoses are doing running into the heat sink assemblies. And inside there, you can see the two hockey puck SCRs. Now, the white wire is the gate, and the red wire is the cathode. And they run up to this terminal board up here on top. We're going to test that bank of SCRs. I'll show you how to do that. Now what we need is a DC source, and I set it to about 90 volts DC. I'm using a Variac bridge rectifier and bus capacitors to create that DC voltage. Now the light bulb is going to be our load, and we're going to attach that to the anode side of the SCR. And the other side of the light bulb goes to the positive terminal of the bridge rectifier and bus capacitors. The ground side of that bridge rectifier and bus capacitors is going to go to the cathode side of the SCR. So let's go ahead and hook that up. I'm going to test this top SCR first. And the cathode is attached to this bar. And the anode is attached to this bar over here. Now, I'll show you the hookups at the end of the video. Here I'm going to use this power supply right here to create the gate voltage. And I have a forward biased diode and that's going to prevent any high voltage from entering back into our power supply when we apply the gate voltage. The high voltage coming from the DC bus. Just a safety there. Now I have a 1 kilo ohm resistor that I'm going to place across the gate and the uh, cathode terminals up here. The gate being the white wire and the cathode being the red wire. Attach that right there. And that one kilo ohm resistor is across that gate and cathode wire on the terminal board. Now I've got a 100 ohm power resistor right here. I guess it's about five watts, it looks like. I'm going to place that on the gate wire. And then attach it to the cathode of this diode right here. Now, that's the positive side through the diode to the gate. The ground side of the external power supply is going to go to the cathode of the SCR. And that's at this point right here on the bus capacitor, the ground side of the bridge rectifier. Okay, let's look and see if we have 90 volts DC on the bus capacitor. Yes, we do. That's about 97.2 volts DC. Now, I've got the external power supply turned to zero volts. I'm going to turn it up. And right there at 9 volts from the power supply, the SCR is turned on, indicated by that light bulb right there. Now let's look at the voltage and see what we have across the gate and cathode. We have 1.116 volts DC across that gate and cathode. Now if I turn the gate voltage off, 
you'll notice that the light bulb's still on. You have to remove the holding current before that SCR will shut down. Let's do that. There we go. SCR is off. I've just applied the 90 volts DC across the SCR again and notice that it's off. The only time it will turn on is if I apply that gate voltage to the SCR. We've turned the gate voltage off and the load is still on. The SCR is still turned on. Isn't that neat? <laughs> That's amazing. Now, when I get to the house, I'll show you the drawings of this hookup right here. This is fascinating. Just be careful around these high voltages. You don't want to get yourself shocked. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> All right, folks. Hope y'all's having a good day. We're doing all right here. Every now and then we hit a bump in the road, but so far we hadn't driven off into the woods yet. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Here are two of the hockey pucks that came out of that bank of SCRs. This side here is the anode. And this side here with the flanged edge and the red wire going to it is the cathode. Now we're going to test this one right here. I got my, the polarity really doesn't matter. I got my black lead on the anode and red lead on the cathode. And we got 10.21 mega ohms. Let me reverse the leads and we'll see what we get. Red lead on the anode, black lead on the cathode. And I got 1.444 mega ohms. Now that's good. That's way up there. That's what you want. Now let's try this one right here. Red lead on the anode, black lead on the cathode. Yo, look at that. <laughs> that's a dead short right there. That's why that bank of SCRs came into the shop. This one right here. This was blowing the breaker on the wall. 0, 0, 0. 0.0, 0.1 ohms. And that 1 ohms is probably my meter re resistance. Let's see what that is. Yep. That's my meter lead resistance. So this SCR right here is slap dab dead shorted. There you go, folks. I'm glad you all got to see that and how to check SCR hockey pucks. They call them hockey pucks because they look just like a hockey puck. Okay, folks. Hope you all having a good day. Enjoy the time on this side of the dirt. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> Evening, though. Here we are at the house, and my violin, and my bow want to see what we were working on today. So they're going to sit here and watch us. And uh, let me get a little bit closer, and y'all can see what we did today. Now what we did today was we tested this hockey puck SCR right here. And I'm going to show you all how to hook that up and, and uh, test it for yourself. The first thing, and probably the most important, is that we have to have a DC source and a load. I used 120 volt, 100 watt light bulb for my load. Now back here we have filtering capacitors, a bridge rectifier, and a variac plugged into 120 volts AC coming from the power plant. The variac allows you to adjust 
an AC output. Now I set the AC output of the variac so that I would have 90 volts thereabouts DC from the plus side of the bridge rectifier to the ground side of the bridge rectifier filtered by these two capacitors right here. Over here we have a power supply. This is a DC power supply, variable DC power supply. The ground of that power supply is connected to the ground of the bridge rectifier and the cathode of the SCR. Now from gate to cathode I have a 1 kilo ohm resistor and from the power supply positive side I have a forward biased 1N4007 diode connected to a 100 ohm resistor. Now this resistor right here was probably about 5 watts and that goes to the gate of the hockey puck SCR. So we apply the 90 volts DC to this circuit right here. And with no gate voltage applied, that circuit is turned off. The SCR hockey puck is turned off. Now I gradually applied a DC voltage to this point right here and at about 9 volts DC that hockey puck SCR turned on and the light bulb turned on. Now when we measured across the gate to cathode we only had about 1.1 volt DC so that meant that 8 volts was applied across this circuit right here and 1.1 volts was applied across here. When we removed that power supply we still had current flow through the light bulb anode to cathode of that hockey puck SCR back to the ground side of the bridge rectifier. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing how this stuff works. So you can have a very small voltage right here. Control a large voltage here. That is amazing. That is amazing. Alright folks, I got to go fill up the bird feeders in the backyard there, <laughs> so we got to get out of here. Now, Violin and Bo says hello. There's Violin. Bo, come here. Say hello to them folks out there. Here's Bo. <laughs> Bo says hello. <laughs> we got to get out of here folks. Now, tomorrow's a Sunday. Today was a Saturday. People, what you doing working seven days a week? Well, it's called keeping your head above water. <laughs> Good night, folks. Enjoy the time. Enjoy the time with nature and Get out there, feed the birds. They don't mind it at all when you feed the birds. They love it. They don't have to hunt for their food. All right, oh, we'll see you next time.